Back here with our minor league pregame show, I'm Matt Vaskersian getting you ready for double-A Southern League action tonight as we jump into our Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Joel Ortiz is our man to watch, and he's coming off a very nice game in which he racked up four hits and just looked dialed in at the plate. Yeah, anytime you get yourself four base knocks in a game, you're doing something right. You might have gotten a couple of gifts in terms of good pitches to hit, but, you know, Now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show is on the air. Time for game two of the regular season between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Jackson Generals. Joel Ortiz will stand in right on the heels of a four for five ball game a night ago. Hit hard towards second and that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Javier Piedra, the hitter now, with a chance to pick up that runner from second with two away. And this could prove to be a huge at-bat in this game because you don't want to let these type of scoring opportunities slip away early. Grounded to short. Ting up, scoops up. it up. Throw oh. in time, and the side is retired. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Come on, Chief, one time. Joel Here we go. Ortiz no, comes forward first looking first to first. add to this early Joel lead as he'll Ortiz. bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Yeah, and you know one man who'd love for him to come through big time right here is his pitcher. We'll see if he can get it done. Hold up, hold up, and right this here. will not be close, and the run will score easily. Joel Ortiz digs in, and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fifth. Yeah, a couple of ducks on the pond out there Ortiz. looking to make that trip home. This is a big two-out A-B right here, guys. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The 0-1 on its way. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Last half of the fifth coming up. Dirk Parker stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Slime. Oh, and he takes his eye off it there as it goes right past him into right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Edwin Ledford stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Brett in foul ground and the inning is over. So it's one run on two hits, one error in the inning and two left. Joel Ortiz will go bat now. He popped out in foul ground Joel last time. Ortiz. Yeah, and I can guarantee you he wanted that swing back, too. He got a fastball to hit, on, and it baby. seemed one like he put a good go. swing on it, but he just missed it. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Hey, one pitch. Make it yours. The 0-1 pitch. Here's a ball lined into left center field, and it's going to get down for a base hit. Oh, and he botches it. Take the turn. Look, look, look. Pick it up. When you're already losing, the one thing you can't do is give away more runs. I mean, you're already in the hole. The last thing you want to do is keep digging, but that's what's happening right here. Things are going from bad to worse now. Stepping in, Javier Piedra. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, but this time, if he can just put the ball on the ground again, oh, he's going to have a good chance at an RBI right because right now the infield's playing back. Inside as he near. Ryan on, guy, Brett comes to the plate with the bases juiced, and it seems a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. 
And pretty much any glimmer of hope for those guys in the field would have to be gone if he comes through with a All big right, knock. All right, hold it right here, hold here. it here. Feels it cleanly. He's Step down. on the bag for one. A play at the plate. A right block there. at the plate, and he's out trying to score. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So two runs. Dirk Parker will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this end. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. To first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Joel Ortiz ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little right, extra pep in your step. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes this the other way to right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly Here has to move ball, to take ball. it in for the first down. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, I thought he really pitched well. He, he ran into a few problems here and there along the way, but aside from that, he was definitely a difference maker out there. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Biscuits win. They come out on top 7-2. to two. Good night, everybody. Here now is our...